When I was in primary school, we used to say that people who drove BMWs were jerks. When I got into high school, we used to say that people who drove RV were assholes. And since a few years, I've gotten my driver's license. And since then, every single one of you drives like a f***ing brainless moron. But is the prejudice true? Do jerks really buy more expensive cars or does driving an expensive car turn you into an asshole? That's the question that I'm going to answer today. Welcome to Brains Applied. My first intention actually was to make a movie about driving a big truck and the chances that you're using it to compensate for your tiny Jeff Bezos. However, nobody has apparently ever taken the time to investigate this subject, which is annoying because Brain Supplied only makes movies about the most important questions of life. So I'm gonna make a promise right here, right now. When I reach 50,000 subscribers, I'll do my own study and I will get to the bottom of this mystery. So press the subscribe button and the notification bell, perhaps leave a like, but of course, don't feel pressure to do so, it's totally up to you. And let's find out whether assholes really drive more expensive cars. One study that was published in March investigated how likely drivers were to yield for pedestrians, based on the cost of their car, the pedestrian skin color and gender. I'll just wait for 5 seconds so you can make a prediction of the study's results. You might have guessed it. Drivers were more likely to yield for women than men and they were also more likely to yield if the person was white instead of non-white. And the more expensive the driver's car, the less likely it is that the driver would yield. These findings had also been found in similar studies. And another study found that upper class individuals were in fact more likely to violate California state law and to cut off pedestrians. Now we all know the saying that money is the root of all evil and studies have indeed found that wealthier people are more narcissistic. However, we are talking about cars and you don't need to be exceptionally wealthy to buy a more luxury car. So how does this work? Finnish researchers conducted a survey in which they asked people about their car and they also let them take the big five personality test. The big five are also known as the ocean model, where ocean is an acronym for the different personality factors. Openness to experiences, conscientiousness, extraversion, agreeableness and neuroticism. The study showed two interesting results. The first one being that people who score high on conscientiousness are more likely to drive expensive cars. This wasn't a real surprise as earlier studies had already found that individuals who describe themselves as reliable, hardworking and successful prefer luxury brands that communicate their success to others. The second result was that men who score low on agreeableness were more likely to drive more expensive cars. This means men who are harsh, rude and not sympathetic. I assume you can see where this is going. Who is full of himself and doesn't care that much about others? Narcissistic people. Which means that driving an expensive car doesn't make you an asshole. Assholes are just more likely to drive more expensive cars. And the Finnish study found that this was specifically true for men. And that, my friends, is all I wanted to tell you today. I hope you liked this video. If you did, press the subscribe button. And of course, don't forget to hit the notification bell so you receive a 100% free notification next time when I upload a new video. And I will see you guys later.